Welcome back. You are still watching Sunrise. Political parties are known as a platform for the recruitment of political leaders and the organization of parliament and government, both in advanced and developing democracies. Since independence in Nigeria, the concept of internal democracy has been relegated to the background through the activities of political parties from the First Republic, and the germane issue has become contending in the present Fourth Republic. Research has shown that this lack of internal democracy in political parties led to crises in past civilian regimes and a causal factor on which the military anchored its intervention in 1966. So, how are we doing in the area of internal democracy now? Are we better off now than we were in 1966? Question. Question. <laughs> very big question mark mm. and uh, this is among the questions we're going to put to our panel this morning and that consists of uh, a social commentator uh, mr oscar owundiwe good morning good morning good to have Hello. you with us again ah good to, to good to be here and we also have the chairman of action democratic party lagos state mr adewale bolaji good morning good morning and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. Um, let me begin with you, Mr. Bolaji, since you belong to a political party. <coughs> How effective is the internal democracy in your party? Well, Action Democratic Party, as we all know, is a, one of the new parties mm -hmm. registered last year. And it's uh, just about a year old now. And we have discovered from the past experience that uh, the lack of internal democracy in our politics has been responsible for 90% of the shortcomings and the failures of governments in the past. So our constitution in the ADP has already taken care of the issue of internal democracy. For example, we have decided to make democracy workable within the party. In, in the sense that um, we have put machineries in place within the party to ensure that people, Nigerians, who are interested in serving this country are the ones who will be elected into offices. At least, who will be elected as candidates for the party to run elections for the party. In terms of putting in place the machinery for primary elections, which is uh, not the delegate system that uh, other parties are used to. My only issue with what you have just said is um, how are you going to determine those who are genuinely interested in Nigeria? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, there's a, like uh, the speaker in the earlier uh, discussions here said, mm -hmm. that um, people who are supposed to get to positions don't get there because of the workings within the party, the impositions in the party, and monetization in the party. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, people who are supposed to get into positions, let me give you a scenario. In a particular constituency or community, we know ourselves. You know who, who is who within that community. And um, when it's time for elections, you know who is capable. You've been watching someone within your community. You know his capabilities, you know his capacity, you know his competence, you know how honest he is. He signifies intention he wants to contest, but because somebody is brought from nowhere with some money to throw around and Nobody listens to that good man anymore. The other man who comes from nowhere is, you know, becomes a candidate, he becomes uh, whatever he wants to contest for, and that is the basis, that is the Money beginning talks. of the problem. Yes. Money, money talks. talks. So we are interested because if you have, because in a ward, for instance, you might say 10 delegates are going to represent uh, the ward hmm. in any, you know, primary elections. And where you have about uh, 500 or 1,000 members of the party, in that ward, 
only 10 or 15 will have to represent to go and cast their votes. So in that process, the chairman of those wards or the chairman of the local government just pencils down names that he feels will vote the way they want him to. Okay? And they submit the names to their, their higher authority to go into the primaries. And those people, those delegates, so to say, will now vote based on money. You will see envelopes changing hands on the day of primaries. Okay? Just because they want to elect. So in that process, they can never elect the right person. But where you have, like in the ADP, where you have a congress of all the members in the party, everybody, a member, all card carry members of the party will have to vote for their candidates mm. in that world, or in that local government. Let me, ask, let me ask you this. Which party were you in before ADP? Well, uh, I was in the PDP. That was, uh, I left over 10 years ago. Okay. Did you no. join the party after you left? No, no. So you just left the PDP yes. until the ADP Because came. I was not comfortable with the inner workings of it. Okay, okay, so you have an idea what what goes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Mr. Ondier, he's given two examples here. Mm. What practically everybody knows works in the, most of those political parties and then what they are doing. Mm. Do you think either of them works or is there a third example we should be looking at? You are not a politician, so... Yeah, thank you very much for defining me correctly. <laughs> and I am not, a, what's funny, I am not a politician. And it was good that you started with him and I heard what he said. The truth is, bring any other politician there, he will say exactly the same thing. No difference. Now, I just want to start this this way. As a non-politician, we are the ones that are feeling the brunt. Close your eyes and imagine you're watching a movie. And the movie you're watching, you saw a vehicle has broken down with a lot of passengers in that vehicle, and they all came down from the vehicle because it can't move. And the vehicle broke down because something is wrong with the engine. And then what are the passengers doing? They are bickering and arguing that the problem is the driver. That once you change the driver, the vehicle will move. The question I ask is, if you were watching that movie, wouldn't you call it a comedy? Because you probably, you're at an advantage to see that this vehicle is not going to move. Because no the most driver, no matter it. the driver you put there, the vehicle will not move. Will it not be a comedy? Yes. But if for any reason a relation of yours is among the passengers, innocent passenger, you begin to see it as a tragedy. That is the picture of Nigeria and the political parties. Mm -hmm. In just one word. Now, but the truth is, if it's possible that most of the people who decide to become politicians, first of all, decide like my friend Sidon, to go back and educate themselves on the socio-political history of Nigeria, they may begin to find certain solutions. And you see, when you, when you started, you defined the political party as a place where they recruit leaders. That is um, for a foreign country. <laughs> Here we recruit <laughs> rulers, people who don't, they're not coming to lead, they're coming to rule. And that is the driving force. Mm -hmm. And it's very painful. Luckily, he, he said to us, that he's been in another political party and he didn't like what was going on inside. The minute you begin to get attention on any party, most other people will move to that same party. If ADP begins to make waves tomorrow, a lot of people will leave wherever they are and move in there because- And probably ruin their system.